you know, if you retcon in more, you still are retconning good shit. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 20 of Supernatural Season 13. At least to say, I feel very angry about one side of the episode and kind of interested but a little disappointed about the other. The other, I will say, is Jack's story. Finally get a little bit of a recap with him. We get a little bit of pretty decent dialogue between him and Mary. I don't like the Mary character, but I'll admit that her relationship with Jack is something I didn't expect in this season. We still see Jack, who is trying to be a good person, deal with the ideas of consequence, loss, and not being able to save everyone. And because of that childlike mentality that he has in a body of immense power, we still have this very interesting interweaving character dynamic. And while nothing much happens with him in his story this episode, aside from the fact that Kevin Tran is back and then dies again. The interactions between the two, Mary and him, are actually probably one of the better parts of the episode because the other part of the episode is again retconning. Now I know most of you are saying, well he's a trickster, he would have a way out, he would survive, blah blah blah, like he wouldn't try and sacrifice himself when he's been a trickster for this long. And like, I, I don't know guys, but I, I feel you're missing what the point of what his sacrifice was in season 5 was that he had finally realized that you can't run away from your problems you can't run away from family eventually you have to confront it even if it ends badly you will always be there for your family that is what the whole point of supernatural is that's why the brothers keep on fighting and fighting and making up it's because that no matter what, you're always there for your family, no matter what the outcome is. So the fact that they keep on retconning this shit, now they're saying that apparently he stole Loki's face, that he took on his entire trickster mentality, and that he's the reason why Odin died, is because apparently by Gabriel appearing, that's what got Odin killed? Like, what the flying fuck are they actually doing? Andrew Dad, for God's sakes, stop retconning Gabriel's shit, for Christ's sakes. Oh, by the way, that whole bit about him being like, oh, I'm gone, yeah, bye guys, and then being back on their team the next fucking episode, that's not how you pace out drama. Oh, it just it's got me fuming. Now, admittedly, the episode itself is not too bad. I actually like that R uh, Richard Splight Jr., who directed this episode, who plays Gabriel, had a little bit less of a Quentin Tarantino-esque episode, like, compared to his last time. Last time it was super Tarantino. This time was a little bit. You obviously could throw a little bit of influences in, like there was a Kill Bill reference several times. He did a good job of directing, especially when there was a confrontation between the two of him. And that wasn't bad, but again, the fact that they are just going over one of the best parts of season five and just like taking a giant fucking shit all over it and then rubbing it in everyone who was a fan of the original five seasons face it's just ah it's it's angering i hope you guys can understand where i'm coming from here because when you retcon something of that importance of something that grave of a whoa i remember when it happened i was like holy shit I actually can't believe he just died. We saw his damn wings on the floor, which indicates when you die. Why would you bother doing such a very poetic and very meaningfully meaningful shot with it apparently meaning jack fucking shit in a few years? Well, a decade, really. So that's what I mean. That's why I'm very angry that this Gabriel retcon crap is still going on because it is literally the epitome of lazy writing. The a fucking epitome of it. I know some of you guys will still complain about this idea about me saying this, but and I know probably won't be able to change your opinions, but that's just how I feel. And I feel I have some standing for that. Otherwise, the episode was okay. It has some funny little moments here and there. However, the ending, I when Dean and Sam were starting to have arguments again, I was like, oh my god, this again? But then, Dean brings up the point that they're going into the apocalypse round two, and the last time it ended, Sam died and went to hell. And he doesn't want that to happen again. 
And Sam was like, well, we're going together. If we're going to die, we're going to die together. And I actually liked that. I actually thought that was a good end to the episode. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 7. Well, because while there was good character development with Jack and there was some decent moments with Sam, Dean, and Gabriel, the retconning is fucking atrocious and Jack's story didn't really have anything happen to it aside from <laughs> Kevin Tram blowing himself up again. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you liked this episode review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested, maybe subscribe. We're on the last three episodes now, so let's see how it turns out. Anyways, see you guys next time.